first, Lego Friends brought us the Dolphin Cruiser in the summer of 2013. Then, in 2017, they upgraded their luxury cruising vehicle to the Sunshine Catamaran. And then just last year, Lego Friends released the Rescue Mission Boat. Now, this year, we get yet another luxury cruise liner. We get the Party Boat. The Party boats. It doesn't really have a fancy name, but it does have 640 pieces. This is a big set, uh, which won't surprise you seeing the size of the box. So it's going to have a pretty hefty price tag as well. But once again, this is the recommended retail price that you're seeing in my little pop-up bar there. Make sure you shop around. You can get it for cheaper in lots of different places. Look how battered the box is that this come this come in. It's been through the walls, but the box is the insides are gonna be fine because they're already broken up into pieces anyway, because they're Lego. Lego is virtually indestructible. I know because I step on it all of the time. We have guys, we got six numbered bags here. We've got two big bags of the random big things that we're going to need. And we've got some books. We've got our stickers. Yep, the stickers. And of course, yes, the instruction books, which we need so we know how this all goes together. <laughs> okay, first up, I just wanted to show you I opened up bag number one and it was just so pink that I had to share the large amount of. <laughs> pinkness from bag one there you go okay this set is very much is so 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 matchy it's matchy matchy with the beach house so i'm gonna put the beach house here in the background we're gonna start building okay so we've got oh we got three mini dolls in here the first one is emma and Emma has got a new shirt, which is covered in little jellyfish. I, I really do think Emma gets the best outfits. Now on the back, it's printed with the jellyfish, but they haven't filled in the purple jellyfish. So it's like they've, oh, okay. So they haven't done the extra dip. And you can see how they put the color, like the flesh color around on the top of her shoulders going around to her neck, but it's covering over. Obviously the top was all covered in blue, but it's not done a great job of coloring it over there. It looks a bit odd but it does the job now she's got sunglasses she's got purple sunglasses she's got a hair she's got a head she's ready emma's ready which means now we can see what sort of accessories she's got she's got her phone and she's got the little green camera that mia had in the beach house so this little green underwater camera i think it is is the one that can get wet on the beach now we have also got andrea andrea is not wearing anything new but that's okay because i really like this outfit i particularly like this top because it's got some really cool like a really cool design on the back and now she just needs her hair and she gets sunglasses as well she gets some pink sunglasses it's been a little while since we saw new hair accessories for the mini dolls I'd like to see something new soon that would be really cool oh well, I suppose the newest one was the bigger headphones to fit Andrea's hair with the new hair anyway Andrea now has the saxophone so she's ready to party she's ready to provide the nighttime entertainment and now we get to start into building and this isn't just a party boat this is the, we've got some subsidiary builds as well we've got some extra bits that stick off the sides not literally off the sides Okay, so they don't stick off the sides, they're extra. They're just extra. That, that's, prob <laughs> that's probably what I should have just finished with before. Oh, that's cool. So we've got nice big curved, curved, yeah, pieces to go around, makes a big circle, a big puffy circle. And now we get the little blue roundy things on the bottom. I'm doing really well with describing words today, which, 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 which are required so that it doesn't scratch your, your your play surface or your work surface when you're sliding it around because it's supposed to denote this is being on the water now we've got some seating area in the middle for the girls and they can spin around on this but well they, they might do some spinning around on it we'll just have to wait and find out how it gets utilized now we get the first of our stickers which is a nice big wing feather it goes on this side which means we get a matching mirror image one for the other side <laughs> okay all right this is I, I'm sure you know what this is. I'm sure you have already figured out that this is really cool. <laughs> and, and it's pink and it's big and it's floaty and round in the middle and it's got wings. And on the back, is this annoying out? <laughs> Just tell me when it becomes annoying. Okay, it's probably annoying quite some time ago. Now we've got the tail feathers on the back. It's a massive, like a giant floaty a flamingo isn't it just so cool and i love how we use these quarter pie pieces to just round off the edges and to make it look really finished we don't have any exposed studs on the top of that tail the tail we could angle the tail a bit 
That is so, so awesome. But we're not finished yet. We need... Oh, I thought we were going to build the... Head. Okay, so we got a little tiny table with a platter on here that's detachable. We've got some fruit on it, some strawberries and, well, a strawberry and some, some watermelon and a tasty drink. And that goes at the back here. So hopefully this is quite a stable. It's a massive floaty, so it should be pretty stable. Some sunscreen. I'm really pleased to see that sunscreen is being incorporated into these beach sets because it's just so important. And now, now we get the flamingo's head. We get to see how the buildable flamingo's head how this goes together so we got eyes and they're supposed to go up like this so it kind of looks like the flamingo squinting into the sun you should possibly give the flamingo some sunglasses we do have spare pairs of sunglasses that wouldn't work love the beak love the way the beak has been built look at our massive flamingo floaty this is going to look so awesome out in front of the out of this summer house as well. Okay, here are all our extra parts. Look at all these extra. Yeah, we, we've got lots of extra parts in here, an extra eye, just in case the flamingo loses one. And now we're ready for bag number two. So that was what all the pink was, was the flamingo-ness. Okay, bag number two, we get, oh, I was going to say Mason. It's not Mason. These are Mason's pants, by the way. So there must have been a special on these at Target. But this isn't Mason. This is Ethan. And Ethan's got a new singlet top, which just looks a bit... It looks like it's got little knots at the top of it. You've got a bit of printing at the back there. No printing that goes around. The print from the front does not continue around to the back. So he's just got some, got some palm trees on the front. He's got the head that we already know from, from previous Ethan's. You know what though? I'm at the point now, having seen the new series and Ethan's in it a lot, I want Ethan to start looking a little bit more like... Well, not just like Daniel, but having an older face, like a, a, a teen boy face, maybe, which just requires it requires a different face shape, the, the different face shape rather than mm, the more little pixie face, which they have that pixie face shape that they have for the younger boys and for the girls. Because at the moment, he's basically just he's basically just the girl face, but with no lipstick and no eyelashes. I really like the Daniel face. So Mia's older brother. That's what I'd like to start seeing for some of the boys in this, but you know, we can't have everything, but that's what my dream is. That's what I would like to see is some more of these, these teen boy faces with just with a bit more variation. Now we have got another flamingo in this set now, which is three flamingos so far this season. We've got one out of the uh, summer fun water park and one from the beach house. So now they make a little flock of, oh, a little flock and they don't, cause flamingos are very social. They don't like being on their own. So <laughs> so cool that I've got three of them, even if they can't stand up very effectively on their own. <laughs> okay, we got our flamingo herd. Oh, actually, a flamingo colony. That's what they live in. They live in colonies. And now we get to start building something which is way too small to actually be the party boat. So this is going to be like their little runabout. Their little runaround. Their little runabout. Little runaround. Yeah, you do one around. One around. It's a little runaround. It's a runaround. There we go. And it has got... It's runaround. It's got a number four on the front, just like the paddle boat that the other girls hired from the, from the summer house. From the beach house. Ah, see how this is all tying in. So number four, I wonder if the, I wonder if they hire the beach house. What if it's not Andrea's house, beach house? They hire it. It's actually number four beach house. Must focus though. Okay. So now we've got the big long draggy cord thing, the purple bendy cord thing. So whoever is is driving this little little kind of water scooter, it's going to be Ethan's in charge of this. He could sit down like that. I don't know quite how he's supposed to stand in there. Kind of a bit like that. And he can be in charge of of towing this floaty out into the middle of the lake or into the middle of the ocean or not too far out into the ocean because that wouldn't be overly safe. This is so cute. But now, now we get started. No, we don't get started on the boat. This is not a party boat at all. This is not how you would be starting a boat. We would need a bow on the boat. No, the hull of the boat. This looks nothing like a boat. So this is another little subsidiary build with a cash register. Oh, what is this? What on earth are we building here? We've got some money on the cash register. And I mean, obviously we're building some sort of service area with a little shop, but I don't know what the shop is for. This might shed some light on my, <laughs> on my confusion. It's a, oh, so this is where you can hire, okay, hire the boat for 15, scooter for 10, sunscreen, buy sunscreen for five. Those numbers are a bit strange to me. You can get a scoot, the scooter for 10, but the boat for 15, like the massive luxury liner boat that would cost a million dollars to insure <laughs> for 15 and $5 for the sunscreen. Ah, that's all right. Okay, it doesn't have to be too realistic. Now, it could be a little bit more realistic. 
<laughs> but I can handle that. Okay, now we've got some overhanging lights here on what is about to be the roofing section of the, the rental, little rental shop. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, this is cool because it actually ties in with the same style as, as the beach house with the yellow beach on the top, that same clip-on slanted down roof. And this here, we've got a little sign that'll go on the top, but there's this exact same sticker is on the roof of the beach house. So they're definitely, definitely designed to go together if, you know, if you want to put them together. Now here's our sign for the, yep, so we can see this from the distance. This is where you come if you want to rent your party boat for 15 bucks. 15 dollar bucks. This <laughs> is the cheapest party boat in town. Is that like for an hour or for, I don't know how, okay, I'm, I'm bemused about the price, but I'll let it go. I'm gonna let it go and move on with my building. We've got some little containers here, obviously for storing some things that could be hired or that can be bought. But before we find out what goes in them, we've got to line the front here with the water sloshing up onto the sand, just like we saw once again in the beach house. Lots and lots of similarities here and exactly the same stickers with fish going along the water line as well and the bubbles and a bit more of the water just coming up here all the way up onto the beach and a tiny little jumper stud bit there where you could put maybe we could put the flamingo there maybe the flamingo I don't know do flamingos really flamingos don't even like do they I don't think they like uh, salt water do they I thought they lived in lakes maybe this is all designed to go around the lake that didn't even occur to me you know I just thought that this was going to be right next to the ocean but I, it could be night right next to like a lake house no, it's a beach. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm overthinking this. Now we've got a palm tree, so I'll stop overthinking it. And we'll put some things in here. We've got a red ball. We've got a couple of tennis rackets. And and, and we've got some flippers, which is nice. So, perfect. All right. So now, now that we've finished here, we've, there's actually there's actually, a, there's actually a spot where we could put uh, Ethan there and he could be in charge of all the rentals. And here are our spare pieces for the end of this bag. We've got another flipper. We've got a little bit more money just in case we, you know, want to hire the party boat for a bit longer. And we're up to bag number three, which is now definitely the start of the party boat. So let's do this. I told you, I told you there was going to be a hull right at the very front. Is the hull a bit at the front, the curved bit at the front? Or is that the... Uh, I always get confused. Anyway, let's concentrate on making sure I'm not so confused that I get the building wrong because that's... You know, that's, that's kind of important. So these bits go, they attach the, those two plates together. Got a whole load of plates going along here. Look at that, look how quickly that went together. This bag's got some really big pieces in it. So we've got some big pieces in to, to get the base of our boat happening. <laughs> look at all these colors. It's, oh, it's a cacophony of colors going on in here. All of these bright random colors, but those ones in the middle, like the red and the green, they, they're all going to be covered up. So that's Lego likes to hide these bright mishmash colours inside where you don't see them later. <laughs> but you do wonder what on earth is going on when you start building them. Going, this is just hideous. I mean, look at these bright blue ones here. They don't go with anything else. They're going to be con like completely covered over. So that's so, so cool. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's just it's like a higgledy-piggledy world of... Of, of mismatching colors. All right, on the underside, now we've got a whole heap of these transparent blue pieces so that it can slide nicely across our workspace and so it doesn't get caught on anything. Even if you're sliding across the carpet, it helps. Okay, these I think are new. These coral flat plate pieces. I think they come in another new dot set, but that's really cool. Also, we've now got a, a geary coggy thing, a geary coggy situation going on which means we are going to have obviously a moving part in here when all of these are interconnected so we've got one gear here i did ask before in another video i did what the difference between a gear and a cog is and a lot of lovely people described it to me and i have forgotten so i don't really remember they're still interchangeable words in my head and i don't think they're supposed to be interchangeable but anyway it goes up here near the front of the ship and this yeah okay Right, we'll find out what purpose that has. Maybe it's for raising and lowering the anchor. I shouldn't, I shouldn't make that up because I don't actually know. Okay, this is going to be, oh, look at that. It's got a little, a life, 
a life thingy, a life floaty. What do you call those things? Is that supposed to go all the way in? The picture says that's supposed to go, that's supposed to go all the way, I like flush with the back. Maybe I just need to push this in a bit further. There we go. I needed to push the black stick in a bit further. Now we're moving nicely. Okay, now we get a couple of ladders, which are great for climbing back into the boat from, from the water. So we've got two, one on either side there. And now look at this, all of those colors, they're disappearing under our beautiful flooring that we're installing now. So they're gone. All that blue's still there, but you watch, we're gonna be covering that over. I do love this bright yellow hull part. It's so colorful. I love the colors. I do love the colors because I'm a big fan of yellow, as you will know if you have been watching my videos for a little while. <laughs> so it makes me happy to build with yellow, but not just yellow. It's nice to have a combination of colors. So more of these, these plates, these, these coral plates, which is so, uh, it's a feast for the eyes. And we are lining the sides here with some more woodwork, some smooth wood here. And now the, yeah, the yellow stripe is making its way all the way along here. And this is looking fantastic. Now, look at this. this now you can, you've got a bit of ratio here with, with Andrea in the boat. And here are the pieces that are left at this stage. Not many spare pieces out of this bag compared to the first bag. Uh, but we are up to the next bag. But we're going to leave it here for now so that we can really investigate how the rest of this boat takes, <laughs> takes shape and what goes in it and see how everything works. I don't want to rush that. So make sure you subscribe now is an excellent time. If you haven't already done that, make sure you click this so the little notification bell so you get notified when new videos go up. Let me know in the comments what you think of the build so far. And, you know, all the normal stuff. I'll see you with another video very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.